Hello everyone, in the previous video we had defined the load patterns I will put the link in the description In this video we will draw the sections and replicate them to all stories Let's start with the columns As we see we have two types of columns First type, the long direction or long face is parallel to the X direction And the second type is the, the, In the second type, the long face is parallel to the Y direction But we only defined one type of columns Column 25 by 60 So ETABS will automatically define another type and assign it these columns uh, after that we will select uh, these uh, sections and reassign it to column 25 by 60 we can delete the unneeded columns and the frames we gave these sections this color to draw frames go to display and go to columns and add column object as we see it has defined these sections give it any color View, uh, view colors view by color of sections apply and we can see these sections select them 5 frames 5 frames selected and assign frame section properties and select column 25 by 60 now you can or you have to rotate these columns uh, show the local axis first for these columns we want the local axis to be in y direction the major local axis the green one assign frame and local axis is Y and for this column the local axis in X direction assign frame local axis and frame object major direction is is X okay okay we can delete the unneeded uh, section okay and save your file you can hide this layer now and hide the local axis to draw the shear wall let's check what we have first we have one section 25 centimeters thickness no uh, no automatic uh, sections will be defined all shear walls in the DXF file are 25 centimeters so just click on shear walls right click and add wall object sometimes we face this problem just re uh, import the DXF file file import Pan. select the DXF file open story one meters and overwrite overwrite the existing CAD okay now you can just add wall object and you have drawn the walls you can hide this layer now and save your file to draw the slab select this tool and 
select the your slab property slab 22 and on the border line just right click and add e tabs area to check it just right click on the slab and section properties have to be slab 22 now we are ready you can hide now we are ready to replicate these sections to all floors don't assign the fixa fixation of uh, the supports before replicating uh, this story because uh, the fixation will be replicated too and uh, no drift will be allowed on the or any displacement will be allow allowed on the building so leave it as pinned now and after that we will assign the fixation on the supports select columns frames joints we can select only columns frames and uh, slabs from here select object type columns frames columns uh, floors and shear walls walls select then go to replicate edit replicate story all stories and apply finally draw the beam you can draw it on the first flo floor then replicate it to all floors or just select all stories and use this tool draw beam select db 25 by 60 we have the stairs beam if you can't snap if you can't uh, select this joint just uh, fix the snap options draw snap options and fix these options select all turn off the grid snap apply okay enter we have let's uh, extrude the view extrude frames we have the stairs beam beam it have to be on the middle of the story uh, if uh, these are columns not she walls then we have to fix the beam on the right place to design uh, the columns to uh, resist the short moment effect or short column effect but uh, now we have long uh, shear walls and uh, it will not be affected so much so just leave it like this I didn't draw the uh, staircase slab but if you have staircase with uh, uh, large loads uh, as uh, water tanks or any loads then you have to draw it on e-tabs and that's it for this video.